What's up guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a short one. I just wanted to let you know that you can get a free wireless access to your desktop on your computer or laptop using the Oculus Quest through your Wi-Fi connection with up to 4K resolution and smooth 60 frames per second. Yes, this virtual desktop application works on the Oculus Quest and it's totally free compared to other alternatives which would cost you around $20 or even more. And in this quick video, I will show you how you easily get started with a super short and smooth virtual desktop image on your Oculus Quest. And as always, a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters and of course official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. Using a virtual desktop on your computer gives you endless possibilities while being in VR with your Oculus Quest. You can use your Oculus Quest to play PC games, watch your downloaded movies, browse videos on YouTube or Netflix for example, do your homework in any Windows application, edit some videos for your YouTube channel, maybe watch your security cameras or why not just have a look at yourself in real time while being in VR. Usually, the virtual desktop applications for Oculus Quest are not free. The official app called Virtual Desktop costs around $20 and also requires you to install a separate software on your PC. Other applications like Big Screen Beta are free, but the framerate is often quite bad and it's nearly impossible to do some serious desktop work using Big Screen Beta and definitely not play any PC games with a smooth framerate. But there is a free application called Moonlight Player that basically does the same but without any costs and even with a better resolution and especially better framerate. It uses the NVIDIA GameStream as the server to send the image, which is built in into the GeForce Experience software. So yes, the only requirement here is that you need a PC or a laptop with an NVIDIA GeForce graphic card. Yesterday I showed you in my last video how you can play any of your Windows PC games on your Oculus Quest using the Moonlight Player and if you haven't seen it, you better check it out first. In that video I also showed you how to install this application on your Oculus Quest and how to get it running with your PC. So I won't go through this here again today. Check out that video, follow the full step by step installation guide and you will find the link to this video in the video description down here below. And when you're done, let's continue. So I know, if you just start a game with Moonlight as I showed you yesterday, you can always press Alt Tab on your keyboard to jump into your Windows desktop, but as soon as you quit the game, the streaming of your desktop ends as well and that's not how it's supposed to work of course. So how do you use Moonlight Player as a virtual desktop for your Windows applications? First open up GeForce Experience, go into the settings by clicking on the settings icon, make sure the game stream is active of course and now in the list of imported games Games, click on the add button. Now browse to your C drive, then the Windows folder and look for the file called explorer.exe and just click open to add it. Now to make it look more nicer, click on edit and change the name of the application to let's say Windows Desktop. You can even add some custom thumbnails to the shortcut, but unfortunately Moonlight Player will not show it inside of the Oculus Quest, at least not yet. So that's basically it. Now put on your Oculus Quest, start up Moonlight Player located in the library under unknown sources, log into your PC just like I showed you yesterday and now browse with your thumbstick and find your new shortcut called Windows Desktop. Once you click on it, you will end up with your PC desktop in front of you. Remember, you can create a desktop icon for unlimited amount of PCs you have at home, this way you can access any PC in your network with just a click. You can use your mouse and keyboard of course just like always, but also the built-in mouse support which has two different mouse modes. One is head orientated which is called gaze and the second one is a thumbstick control called trackpad. The gaze mouse control works pretty nice I have to say and you can click and double click using any of your Oculus Quest controllers. The trackpad mode lets you move the mouse with the thumbstick on your Oculus Quest controller but it's quite wonky at this time and not really useful unless you get used to it, so I'm not really recommending that option. Also, you can change the size of the screen as I showed you yesterday and the distance at any time you want. Don't forget that you can also change the resolution of the desktop. I think 1080p at 60 frames per second is super sharp already, but 4K resolution with 60 frames per second is also available if you want some extra clarity. 
Well, I gotta say, using Moonlight for virtual desktop on the Oculus Quest is surprisingly easy and comfortable. The display and resolution of the Oculus Quest is more than enough to see and read all the icons in 1080p resolution already, and even the smallest text on websites and applications are fully readable. I would highly recommend you to try this before you spend 20 bucks on a paid application that simply does the fundamental features in the same way. And what do you think about this, guys? Is Moonlight Player better than? the paid application virtual desktop? Let me know guys! Thanks a lot for watching everyone and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video. Lastly, a big thanks to my Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador.